Hey, this is a trendy socialite. I hope all is well with you. I am coming with a haul from my local Goodwill. I went there today. Um, and today was sort of like a date with a dia day. I just spent some time by myself around the city. I did some things. I had lunch. Then I went to see my best, best friend's daughter um, in her spring production dance recital. She was phenomenal, by the way. Shout out to Kalila. Um, point, hip hop, jazz, tap. The girl is good. She's very good. Anyway, um, I may put a little snippet at the end of a praise dance she actually did at our church a couple of weeks ago just so you can see her in action. Um, so, after that, where did I go? Ran a couple of errands and then I decided to stop by um, Goodwill just to see what they had and they had some good stuff today. Some things that I was looking for and then um, found some other pieces that I really liked. Also stopped by um, Ann Taylor Loft. After I left Goodwill because I was looking for something in particular, didn't find what I was looking for but I did find something else that I think is going to be cute. So let's get started with Goodwill. Um, I really went in there for the purpose of finding vests. Nyla Coils, who is a YouTube subscriber, bought a vest on her last thrifting haul and she said she was going to wear hers with a natural t-shirt, like with a natural hair t-shirt and some skinnies or some jeans or something like that. I was like, oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do too. So I ended up buying two vests. Um, this is the one I'm probably going to wear um, first. It is kind of a tweed uh, brown. It has little lines of um, kind of a tobacco brown in it and a little bit of a chambray blue color, which is going to look perfect with my Natural Girls Rock t-shirt. And I will post the outfit of the day video about that here. Um, that, yeah, that's going to look awesome with that. Not sure the bottom yet um, because it is warm. I think it may be, maybe jean shorts and maybe, I don't know, we'll just see. Jean skirt maybe, I don't know, we'll see what I come up with. But yeah, I think this was 339 Right next to it was this one, which is just um, a blue, kind of faint pinstripe. And it looks like it has like a very, very faint pink and a, a darker blue, like a chambray blue. Almost has a gray um, tone to it. So with this, I thought about um, even just a white blouse or a white tee. This, these two vests are things that you can wear year-round depending on how you rock them. Um, a white vest, I mean a white shirt or a white tee, jean shorts, uh, khaki shorts, dark denim, um, navy blue. There are a lot of things that you can actually do with, with these vests. So I'm excited about these two. Once again, this was $3.39 as well. Um, I think this is a good find. This is an Oleg Cassini blouse, which Oleg Cassini back in the day, that's like, that was good stuff. Um, and it's a black and white kind of animal print blouse. It is long sleeve, but here's how I think I'm going to rock it. I think I'm going to rock it with um, some black shorts. I wanted some that weren't Bermuda length, but uh, weren't booty shorts either. Um, in a nicer, not just kind of like just a regular fabric, but in a slightly dressier fabric. Haven't found those quite yet. That's why I went to Ann Taylor Loft. I figured they would have them. Um, they did have some black shorts, but I have a pair of black shorts that I could rock with it. You know, push came to shove. So, <clears throat> I think that's going to be my look with this. And then maybe some really, really um, tall wedges or um, like a some, as I call them, Luke Skywalker black heels <laughs> with it. And that'll be kind of like, that'll be like a nice little going out to dinner on a Friday night or going out for drinks kind of thing. Um, 
deal with that and you know if it's really warm I can always push the sleeves up but the thing is like when I go into places I'm cold so the, the long sleeves probably won't bother me this is a lightweight silk fabric so it's not gonna bother me this was 339 I believe as well three something okay y'all remember the scene in the color purple when Miss Seeley started making those pants and you know they were in all these kind of weird floral leaf fabrics and all this kind of stuff well <laughs> when I saw these I immediately thought of that scene but then I was like hmm they really honest to God feel like some pajama pants and probably I would definitely wear these to travel in with a white tee or a white tank top and a jean jacket or not a jean jacket or whatever and they're just pants um, kind of straight leg at the bottom a little bit but they're really flowy they're lightweight it's elastic here so I would either wear it with the shirt outside of the pants or with a belt to cover it up and uh, it's a purple background with um, a blue like a kind of a royal no more like a turquoise blue flower with it a little bit of um, white outlining the flower so I have a couple of color options with that but um, yeah we'll see how we I rock those I know you're probably thinking hated it <laughs> oh this was a good little find isn't it cute little black clutch I think this was like a dollar fifty it does come with a chain um, chain to it if I wanted to wear it on my wrist or something like that. Uh, but generally, I think I'm going to use it as a clutch. So that is going to be very, very cute. Um. I think this next piece is going to be part of my color blocking thing. I really, I looked at it and I picked it up and I put it back and I walked past it really slow and I was like, I think I can do something with this. Here it is. I don't know who the brand is. Oh, um, but it is so vibrant, so um, I can definitely see this on a beach trip, a day trip to the beach, or, you know, just when I want to feel bright and colorful and cheery. I can so see myself like wearing this on a Saturday when I'm out running errands, but I may have to, to do something or to go somewhere. Um, it does come below my knees, maybe a couple of inches below my knee. And so I'm thinking i um, probably going to pick up the purple in it just because that's a little bit different. Um, it really has kind of a pink red background to me so I'm not going to do one of those colors I'm going to probably do um, the purple uh, one because I really like purple but uh, this has an elastic back which will make it super comfortable and it's a little pleated just slightly more pleated in, in the front than anything else so I really kind of like this skirt. I think this is going to be cute. And I think I'm going to find a solid color um, belt in a contrasting color or pick up another, I mean, when I say contrasting, picking up another color in here, whether it's the green or whatever in um, rocket like that. So I'm looking forward to wearing that actually. Then I saw this and I was like, I'm not really sure, but I put it on and it was kind of cute. And I think I can work with it. I think I can make it work. I may have to alter it a, a bit because I think it's a little bit large, but it's it's kind of cute. Um, it is a denim dress. I know you're thinking like that's old style for real, but um, it has an elastic waist. But I think once I cinch it with a belt, um, I think that's gonna really give it a a good look and I'm thinking probably the first time I wear it first time or two I wear it it's probably gonna be like a tobacco brown and then I'm just gonna layer a whole bunch of um, natural color necklaces around it so um, I rolled up the sleeves I don't know what I think they may be three-quarter length it's almost a maxi dress it comes to my ankles um, this will be for the fall 
in winter. So I'm actually going to pack this up <laughs> shortly. And my last piece from Goodwill, it's just a, it's a black dress. It's pretty simple, but I thought, okay, I wear black dresses a lot. And um, this one, I was like, okay, well, I can, I can dress this up a little bit and I can also make it casual. Um, so it's just a scoop neck, um, elastic at the waist, which means I would cinch it with a belt. When I have to wear all black, say for a sorority function, then it would be a black belt um, to give it some texture or dimension, maybe a black patent leather belt. And it comes a little bit below my knees. And as you can see at the bottom, there are buttons all the way down the bottom of the dress. And there are faux buttons, so it doesn't open or anything. And the sleeves are three quarters, which is good. And that's a, generally a good thing when you buy um, vintage or thrift or secondhand, things like that. Because, you know, I have long arms, so a lot of times long sleeve things don't come all the way um, down to my wrist, which is where I like for them to fall. Um, and so I end up having to take them to a seamstress to have them made into short sleeve or elbow length or three quarter length sleeves. So this one is already three quarter length. And it's just kind of um, a line skirt. And, you know, once I throw this on with some, you know, layer some necklaces on it and um, if I want to do it casually in the fall and winter throw on a jean jacket some funky tights I think it'll be very cute <laughs> and big old earrings and with all of these dresses honestly y'all I'm thinking big hair all of this stuff I'm thinking big twist outs braid outs um, yeah I think that's gonna it's gonna be my look all right so then I went to Ann Taylor Loft like I said I was looking for um, shorts to go with the Oleg Cassini um, blouse that I got but instead I found this shirt that was um, it's kind of a tissue paper cotton thing and I'll show you the price before I show you the shirt um, I don't know how much it was regularly Let's see if I can lift it up $36.50 was a regular price and hopefully you can see this final sale, $4.88. Yes. Swimming. And like I said, it's kind of tissue paper thin. Well, not quite tissue. Well, yeah, actually kind of tissue paper thin. It's a little cow neck shirt. It is long sleeve. But like I said, tissue paper thin. And um, this is how I think I'm going to rock it. Rocket. I really want some gray shorts. I don't really care what length they are, if they're Bermuda or if they're a little bit shorter. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And the reason why I thought about that is because of the other thing that I bought while I was there. Isn't that cute? Look how the iridescent beads, you know, just pick up the, the peachy shade of this. So, um, and everything at Ann Taylor Loft today was 30% off. So this was regular price. It is, you know, just a sequin flower pin. And it was $14.50. And like I said, this shirt was $4.88. Um, so I think I, my total bill was $14.66 by the time they took the 30% off. I saved $5.81. So it was almost like getting this shirt for free. Um, well, it is getting a shirt for free. <laughs> so, those are my purchases today. I'm going to, I looked a couple of places for some gray shorts. I don't want to pay $44 at Ann Taylor Loft no more than I really wear shorts. So, I'm going to try places like JCPenney's because, oh man, I missed their sale. Dang. <laughs> um, JCPenney's and um, maybe... New York and Company or somewhere like that um, to find something but um, I don't want like obviously no gray athletic shorts uh, a nicer brush cotton not with a lot of drawstring and stuff like that I want them more tailored um, especially with this pen that'll dress it up and glam it up a little bit 
So that is my haul, my thrifting haul and my haul from Ann Taylor Loft. And with this top being $4.88, I'm going to declare that a thrifting haul as well. I hope all is well with you. Please leave your comments, questions below. Take care and be blessed. Bye.